Today we woke up to the beautiful sight of the morning mist lifting from the lake in front of the lodge. After a hot coffee and delicious breakfast, we quickly got dressed into our fishing gear and boarded a float plane to head to a new river. Tom and I both started by casting mice patterns to see if we could trigger a strike from a brook trout. What happened next is something Tom will always remember. We're here in a different river today. It's at the outlet of a lake and um, we don't know much about it. And uh, it's fairly wide. You can see it's wide and shallower here. There's a central current thread going through here where the trout probably are and not knowing anything else, we're gonna try a mouse. Oh, yeah! Woo! So this is the biggest brook trout of my life. I can tell you that for sure, because I've never caught one over 15 inches before. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at that color. Ah. Ah. Okay, wow. Oh my God. Look at those colors. Nice. Ah. Wow, what a beautiful fish. My God. Oh, that was a big fish. So I did something really stupid there. I just broke off a fish. And uh, what happened was, had caught a nice fish, a couple casts before, hooked another fish, put a little pressure on it, and the tippet snapped in the middle of the tippet. They're big fish, there's a lot of rocks, and they're pretty abrasive. I wasn't smart enough to check my leader after that fish. And you, what you wanna do is after you catch a big fish, look at your knot, and then look at your leader, look for signs of abrasion, make sure that your leader is still sound. Today was unlike any day we've ever experienced while brook trout fishing. As we continued to work our way down the run, we had a surreal number of brook trout slashing and exploding on our mouse patterns on the surface. That was just the most explosive take came clear out of the water on it. Got his head up. Oh, good job. Oh, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely stunning fish. Look at the orange. Oh, off it swims back into the pool. Wow. This is so much fun, I can't even tell you. And to catch these type of fish where every one of them looks like something spectacular out of a painting. The next few hours of fishing would be considered brook trout heaven by any angler. Oh! What? <laughs> <laughs> Big, another male looks like. A male, what do you think? Is that a male? Yeah, I think it's a male. Well, by that color. Looks like you have a good girl, too. Yeah. Okay, coming over to you. Wow, now that fish was right in front of us here. And every one of these fish is taking the mouse on the paws. So, um, you know, I've started to slow down my retrieve and let it sit there. And the fish have come up and almost sipped it like a mayfly. They, they haven't been explosive strikes that you normally think of for a mouse. It's been, they've been very subtle and you just see the head come up and the mouse is gone. Wow. Oh, what a strike! Wow! Whoa, wow. 
Oh my God. Woo! That is amazing. When I first came to Labrador in um, God, sometime in the mid 90s, it was, well, I came up here for the big brook trout. Yeah, everybody hears about the big brook trout. It's one of the wildest, emptiest, prettiest places I've ever been. At this point, I think this is my ninth or 10th trip here. And at this point, the people are my friends. I'm comfortable here. And it's arguably the best brook trout fishing in the world. Simple as that. Watching brook trout smash mice patterns on the surface is every fly angler's dream and one of the big draws of Labrador. Whoa, wow. Oh my God. Woo! It doesn't happen every day, but when the conditions are right, it is the best brook trout fishing that you can probably experience. When we return, Tom and I hook into some massive fish on mice patterns.